Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014 movie, Shredder. That's right, it's a look at the action figure of the main villain, as featured in the brand new TMNT movie. So let's check him out. As you can see, he comes in that standard movie packaging, featuring those bright green colors in the background, and the new Ninja Turtles movie logo right there at the top. Running along the side of the box are images of the four turtles from the film, and the shredder is fully seen inside of the blister bubble. The back of that package gives us a description of the story of the new movie, and below that we get a look at a selection of the figures that are currently available in stores. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this new version of the shredder as he appears in the new movie. First of all, taking a look at him right outside of the box here, it's pretty safe to say this is the Shredder. He looks like the Shredder. While the Turtles went through quite a change in their looks with all of the new pieces of clothing and everything that's been added to him, you can still look at the Shredder here and instantly tell who he is. Now there have been some changes made to the look of Shredder, one of those being the fact that he is just covered in blades. Now Shredder's always been known for having blades on him. You've always got the blades kind of coming off the shoulders, he's got the pointy helmet, he's got blades usually sticking off of his forearms, and sometimes on his shins. But this Shredder here you'll notice has got this really elaborate armor that goes all the way down his arms, where he has these huge knife-like blades that are just jutting off of them. You'll notice he's got the typical little blades kind of coming off of his wrist over his hand there, but then kind of coming out of the side of his forearm, he also has those three larger blades. So this dude is armed to the teeth with bladed weapons. I mean, look at the cape that he's even wearing. All the way down the sides of the cape are jagged blades. It might be just a little bit overboard. I mean, this design is pretty crazy with all the knives and everything that are attached to him, but... I guess that's why his name's the Shredder, right? The armor itself that he's wearing is pretty cool looking. You can see it's got a neat little design kind of worked into the chest armor there that almost looks kind of like an angry face, and it's even got a bit of a robotic feel to it, especially when you move down the legs. The legs are very squared off and just kind of have this robot look to them, which kind of makes me wonder if this Shredder is actually human or if he's a machine, and I don't really know yet. Just seeing him in the trailers, it's hard to tell exactly what's going on with the Shredder, so it's going to be one of those things we'll find out when the movie's actually released. Taking a look at the head sculpt, it kind of gives him that robot look even more. Now, first of all, the mask that he's wearing over his face is really cool because there's a lot of sculpted detail in there, so it's not just a straight mask. But look at those eyes. They're like just drilled holes in the head. There's no detail whatsoever. They're just holes in the head. I honestly don't know if that's just bad sculpting, or if that's by design and maybe this guy really is some sort of a robot. It's hard to tell, but it is weird looking. Now the paint job on the figure is pretty decent. He's actually a mixture of dark grays, light grays, and even some metallic silver seen in spots like the top of his helmet and the little loincloth piece that he's wearing. It'd have been cool to see that metallic silver used a bit more on the blades to kind of give them a little bit more of a variance in their color, but overall it's not so bad. I'm glad that he's not just all a solid color gray. There's definitely some different scene all throughout the sculpting there. Flipping him back around to the backside where that cape is, one thing that's really cool is that the cape is removable. You'll notice that there are just two little pegs right there on the cape that plug snugly into the holes on his back. Now the cape is just made of a softer, flexible plastic, and they attach in those holes very nicely, so they almost kind of snap in place. That way you don't have to worry about the cape just falling off randomly. So let's go and take a look at the articulation on Shredder. The head's able to turn both left and right. He's got those same ball joints at the shoulders that we've seen with the other figures, and the blades that are hanging over his shoulders even move, so they don't hinder the movement of the arms. He has a bend at the elbow, and even the armor that's running down his arm have their own articulation point, so that way they bend right along with the arm. And hey, check it out, Shredder has twisting wrists. He also has a waist swivel, he's got the same hinge joints at the thighs so the legs can go outwards, move forwards and backwards, he's got a standard joint at the knee, and he's got ankle joints. So. 
To recap, Shredder here has two points of articulation that we haven't seen on any of the turtles in this line. He can swivel his wrists and he can bend his ankles. However, he's lacking the swivel at the elbow and the knee that the turtles have. So he lost two articulation points, but gained two very important ones. So with those articulation points, you can get some pretty decent poses out of Shredder. Now, if he had those swivels at the knees or the thighs and swivels at the elbows there, the poses would be even better. But we're getting a little closer with this guy. The figure also stands exactly six inches tall, making him the tallest figure in all of the movie Ninja Turtles line. He's a full inch taller than April and the Ninja Turtles, so he towers over everybody else, which I really like. Now Shredder doesn't include any other accessories. I guess all the blades that are all over his armor are all he really needs to kick some turtle butt. Alright guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at Shredder standing alongside the Nick Turtles versions of Shredder that have recently been released. And here he is alongside some past movie versions of the Shredder. The Super Shredder being one of my all-time favorite Shredder figures. And of course, since there have been so many different Shredders over the years, here he is standing alongside many of the different versions from various Ninja Turtles toy lines. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the brand new movie version of Shredder. Overall, I like this figure. I think he's really nicely done. The articulation is a step up from what we got with the turtles, except for the lack of a swivel at the elbow and the thigh cut there. I think the paint job is pretty decent, could be a little bit better, but it's nice for what it is, and I do like the sculpt work here. All of the blades that are all over his costume are a little overdone, but it's pretty true to what we've seen from the way he looks in the movie so far. I think the one thing I can for certain say that I dislike about this figure are the weird eye holes. It just looks strange and I'm not really sure why it was done that way. But otherwise, it's a pretty neat looking Shredder figure and it definitely fits in with the rest of the movie Ninja Turtles figures so far. So if you need a villain for your new Turtles to fight, Shredder, it's definitely worth picking up. The new Ninja Turtles movie figures are already hitting store shelves right now. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.